Coming from federations, different federations out around, and uh, sure you beat us a couple times illegally, of course. The Banner Brothers have never been defeated properly. No one done it yet. Perhaps maybe this time, but I don't think so. We got my two brothers here. I can only see good things coming. I mean, we're going to make this interview very short and clear. The Banner Brothers took two losses in a row that had absolutely nothing to do with us. Of course, it was cheating again. But this time, short and sweet, the Bennett brothers aren't losing. We got our pride, we got our family watching, there's no way. Right, boys? That's right. The Bennett brothers are staying on top. And that's this time it's our Today, you saw it on the Geek Patrol's sports machine. If you watched any of the major networks, you saw it. It was on CNN. It was all over every single newspaper in the world, not just in the United States, in Tokyo, in London, in Paris. The founder and benefactor of the infamous alliance, your idol, Dan Goss, became the world's most prestigious golf champion on January 11th, 1995, when he won the Millionaire's Only Golf Tournament in Pebble Beach, Florida. And I have to admit to you, sir, I know Ted Koppel wants you. I know Dan Rather wants you. I am honored, as always, to have you here in my presence today. Well, Dennis, I love the hot lights. I love the bright lights. I love the notoriety. But most of all, I love the fact that when I make my presence known to each and every one of those Shea Height simpletons, Later on tonight, the fact that your idol Dan Goss is in their presence will make this the greatest day of each and every one of their miserable lives. But I know my victory. Larry Zbysko couldn't do it. Jack Nicholson couldn't do it. And Arnold Palmer, you're great, but you're not Dan Goss. And you got beat by the man who insists on victory. But on to the matter of the business at hand. You better be asking yourself, Dennis. The fellow members of the Infamous Alliance are asking themselves, everyone's asking themselves, why did a man with a million dollar a day, 100 mile an hour lifestyle, come to a dump like this? Well, Dennis, I'll tell you why. There's a sickness in this promotion, a cancer that rears its ugly head 
in the form of popsicle peat wristband wearing punks with scarves on their head called the Bennett Sisters. There's ace to waste. He's so ugly you make an onion cry. <laughs> Best rain is true. We got Rick the Tick. He's so small he can parachute off a dime. <laughs> and we got Bruiser the Loser. Bruiser the Loser. He's so stupid I can sell him dirt. But I got a cure for this disease. We take the Bennett Sisters and each and every one of those dirty fingernails, bedwetting, snot nosed, shea height punks, stuff them in a giant blender, flush them down the sewer. That's why I'm Dan Goss. That's why I'm your rival. That's why it's forever. See you later, Joe 3. <laughs> just happened, the Learjet has just landed in St. John's International Airport, a custom-made Learjet of our founder, benefactor, and our manager, Dan Goss, your idol. He's here, boys, and what I said earlier, it's a case of brotherly love against an undying hatred, Bennett Brothers, hatred for you, and tonight we are going to unleash every bit of that dark, devious, dirty... Well, I'd like to start off by saying, Captain Fox and Newfoundland Ninja, you see the damage done to my face? Do you see what happened to my face? <laughs> Teach me, paid him a few hundred thousand, said, Teach Dennis and all this move just to get the job done. And I did. That's right. And the next time, Bennett, that we step in the ring with you this afternoon, January 15, 1985, you're going to find out what it's like to get hit with the golf club from your idol, Dan Goss. And let me bring him in right now, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is. Our hey! 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 Your idol, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Dan Goss. Look at this. This is my other factor. Calm down, Humphrey. I can't believe you're here, sir. I'm here. I'm ecstatic. The list it goes like this. In the airport when I arrived, they said, the infamous alliance. They called you lowlifes. They said, you're the scum of the earth. They said, you're, you're evil and rotten. And you knock out your motor for a quarter. And you know what, Dave? They were right. Yes. <laughs> but I had a response to this fan. I said, my association with, with these guys, there has a reason. Better to rain in hell than to serve in heaven. That's what it's all about. <laughs> That's what it's all about. I want to make That's one more right, folks. The right. damage that the Bennett Brothers received is going to be held on the Newfoundland Ninja and Captain Fox's back for what happened to my face tonight. Every bit of punishment they deserve is intended towards ye, and you can bet your bottom dollar we're walking out the winners. We're walking out of the six-man elimination, number one. And next week, Newfoundland Ninja and Captain Fox, you're going to bleed, sweat, and pay the price to the infamous alliance. We are number one. Look at my we face. We are the best. I can't believe what happened. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. Come on, my face. Come on, my face. I can't face this women like this. What are they gonna say? We got 